Ladies and gentlemen, we have an interesting specimen on our hands. Now before I forget, I forgot about Fumo Yomu. Welcome to, I guess, the first iteration or episode of Outside of the US. This is where I buy miscellaneous phones and electronics from, well, outside the US. So, like I said before, we have a very interesting specimen on our, on our hand. And this was, like I just said, brought all the way from Japan. It is a phone that is only, well, in Japan. This, you may not have heard of for all the phone collectors here, but this phone here is called a ZTE Revelo 5G. This phone I actually got off of a website called Sendico, which is a Japanese site where you buy, you can buy a lot of stuff from different websites on there, like Macari, Yahoo Auction, Japan, Rakuten, etc. Before we get onto the phone itself, I just want to say that I have two more things coming, and I used a different website for this. And to show you that, ah oh shoot, this is a Galaxy Note 3. Um, just a side editor's note, you may noticed that my last phone collection video, the Note 3 was in my part of non-working phones. But if you follow me on Discord or something like that, you may know that I tried to do a screen replacement on this. To say, it failed. So I just bought a completely new one off of eBay for just about $21, which actually was less expensive than a screen itself. And if it works. Apparently there's no S Pen, but hey, I got this for a pretty cheap price, and that's another working phone in my collection. Carrier branding. Now hold on, let me pull up the uh, website that I used this from. Uh, as you see here, why the fuck are they still in storage? The story on these things is that I ordered these over a month ago. At least over a month ago. And they've been sitting in storage for almost 30 days at this point. Why not just bring them to the warehouse and then wait like 4 or 5 days and then just ship them? Deco doesn't do that. As you can see here, it was actually packed on the 18th of June and it came here the 26th of... Or not, it dispatched the 26th of June. Fun fact, it was actually yesterday, so that means it shipped home from some country Japan to here in about a day to the wonderful work of DHL, which might I recommend you use that for a service. Enough about that. We have another phone we need to unbox. And with our handy dandy scissors, let's do this. They really packed this thing tight, but I think I got the phone itself. And it's literally hanging by a thread. Oh, jeez. Mostly out. Let me just try to get this with one hand. You guys you can really watch me struggle with this. Like, oh, never mind. Trying to lift it and pack it. All that's left to do is to struggle. And here it is. Here is the CTE Revelo 5G. Or, my bad. The Libero 5G. I keep getting the name wrong for some reason. At first glance, this really looks like some ordinary basic Android phone. It's got a triple camera setup, a rear fingerprint sensor, it also has 64GB of storage and 4GB of RAM. Which is kind of funny because that's on par with these two. Yay, I didn't actually drop them. What I'm basically saying is that this thing is kind of similar between in specs between the A13 5G and the Moto G 5G 2022. This video isn't about those two, it's about this one. It's this thing up for the first time outside of the US. Ooh, that vibration motor. When you look at the screen, you got the camera cut out up there, and the bezels are pretty big. Let's just wait for this thing to boot up though. I betcha it has no carrier rending. You know, I completely forgot that ZTE had its own OS system now. Oh, now we're in the setup screen, and conveniently, English. There you go. I can move the network, absolutely not. And now I gotta connect to my Wi-Fi. And I just noticed that this thing has NFC. If this will focus, 
and just saw it for a second. There you go. Yeah, it has NFC, which I think is pretty cool. And this phone's battery is actually smaller than the Moto G 2022 and the A13 5G. Um, because this thing has a 3950 milliamp hour. The G5G, I believe, has 5,000, and the A13, at the top of my head, I want to say it's 4,000, but honestly, I can't be really sure. But now we're going to wait. We're ready to copy, app some data. Not. Okay, now we're going to do even more waiting. And we have to check info for something. For what is the question? Now it wants us to sign in with our Google account, and I'm going to do that real quick. Since I actually couldn't find the listing on here, Oh, or on the Note 3 for some reason. Let me just tell you about the listing while this automatically goes up to Google Services. Um, or I'll do the fingerprint sensor now. Got this phone for 27 US dollars, and you can kind of see why. It is slightly cracked down here and over there, but it really doesn't affect the functionality of the phone. Now we're going to try the fingerprint sensor. And we're going to set fingerprint. And we need a pattern because, yeah. Let's see actually how good this fingerprint is. Use the center of my finger. The vibration motor, I will be honest with you, is pretty bad. And now it wants us to go to the edge of the fingerprint sensor, which is pretty cool. And that's it. Do a navigation style, which is virtual navigation or gestures. And personally, I think we're gonna try gestures, but honestly, I'm not entirely sure. But that took a little bit, but now Google Assistant is good. They match, yes, Google knows exactly what my voice is like. Agree. Yes. Let's see it, but now it's asking me uh, for to set up my debit card with Google Play. Uh, nah. It asked for anything else, and I said no. My OS, start your journey. I'm just gonna do the laps. Look at this. Look at this, we can view it all out from here because this is like Android 12 I believe. And oh, we got Yahoo apps, which I might take a look at later in the video. Now we gotta see what Android version this is running, because I am curious. This is running Android 12 and MyOS version 13. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage, so let's see if there's any system updates. Yep, none, and the security patch is very really great. Do you see personalization settings? No, not wallpapers, but we'll look at them anyway. Pretty cool. Now, themes. Geometry, classic, Android. Um... That's not the entirely the theme I was looking for, but... Hey, that's fine. What about display? Okay, dark mode. That's exactly what I was looking for. Dark mode, turn on now, that looks much better. Honestly, yeah, this is actually really cool. I have never had a newer ZTE device in my collection, so I think that's pretty cool. Let's update all the apps first. Because updating, I'm just going to see the logs and stuff. Uh, so the yeah, it's a little slow, it's a little slow, but it's ZTE. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say there. But there are different lock screen style settings, which I think is pretty cool. You can do this, which is cool. This this which makes it kind of look like one plus there is a ton of stuff here but i think i'm gonna go with what it, i'm gonna go actually with this because this looks cool yeah sure i'll put a signature on it there you go 39 apps updating and oh geez yeah some of the japanese apps need updating too if all the apps are updating i'd like to make one thing clear someone on my Someone on Discord asked me if I use a script or not, and, uh, if you could possibly tell, yeah, I don't. Just do this videos all in one take, and for some of you eagle-eared viewers, you can definitely tell that sometimes I stutter while doing this. And, yeah, that's because I just want to try to get this done all in one take. I mean, yes, I have started to edit these videos out with adding music and deleting some of the scenes and stuff, etc., yeah, for some of you guys, you can absolutely tell that I don't use a script, and honestly, I think that's okay, because I don't know. The apps are updating. We're going to explore more of the settings. We're going to go to build number, 
I'm one step away from the developer, and there you go. I am now a developer of this run. I am a developer. Yeah, I gooped up on that. You can definitely tell I don't use a script. Now a developer for ZTE. Hooray. Developer options. We're obviously going to enable the bootloader to be unlocked. And fine, I'll show you guys the password for this thing. It's just, yeah. Enable. We have unlocking, of course. DSU loader. USB debugging, of course. And let's see if there is the display. I will look at this in a minute. I can't find the part where it shows to always show the FPS, but eh. Go to battery here. Optimized battery usage. Apparently my rating battery is, yeah, uh, 40 hours left. That's ridiculous. Like, apps, AI control, scenario optimization, adaptive 5G, adaptive battery, power saver. Yeah. This thing is unlike any other Android 12 phone that I have. Storage, of course, like I just said, you got 64 gigabytes, which is actually, I guess, average now. Yes, the model number on this phone is A003CT, which, if I look that up, yes indeed, the ZTE Libero 5G. Google has an average rating of 1.5, and I can't read all this Japanese crap. I need this guy to read more, so I'm actually just gonna power it off. I'm gonna power it off. There you go. Good riddance. Uh, before we see all the apps that are done updated, I'm going to do the display settings. Of course, I have to do... Oh! For once, this has never... But I'm not always going to do 10 minutes. Alright, so we still have the, the uh, all the apps updating, so we're going to wait on that, actually. And it's after updating the first one, FR Square 5G Lab did. So let's see what our part of this is about. FR Square 5G Lab. Uh, I can't read that can't read any of that, so we're just going to click this red button, I think that means okay. Uh, how about this one? Well, uh, let me actually get out of translator. According to my translator, I have to put in all my information here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Alright then, I guess we're going to try something else. I don't know, man, but let's try Yahoo. Should be easy, right? Oh, it just crashed. How about PayPay? Pay? Okay, maybe not. We see stuff loading here. Oh, okay, so I have to sign up for PayPay. Pay. Um, I can sign with Japan I Yahoo Japan ID. I can sign up with SoftBank, Yahoo Mobile, and Limeo. Unfortunately, I don't have a Yahoo Japan ID yet, but I could sign up with my own mobile number, but I don't know about PayPay, so... Alright, next app. Let's see what we got. We can update Google. Is there an urgent alerts, too? We got... Whatever this one is. Yahoo Mobile... Uh, something. Uh... Oh, it's bringing me to Chrome for some reason? Okay, fine. I'm in. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's another login thing, um, or something, whatever the hell just happened. Um, please translate this to English, please. Following asked by Yahoo Japan, following the on-screen instructions, I click agree. Yeah. Man, man, I realized that I was recording all that, so, um, Bofaitsu Keitai, Felicia Networks. What is this? Okay, I, I'm really confused right now. Okay, this is Terms of Service. Yes, I accept all the Terms of Service. Am I gonna have to, like, sign up or something? I have no clue what this is, so we're gonna find out together. Okay, initial setup. Okay, connecting to a mobile network. Uh, I don't think this thing has a SIM card. It doesn't, so I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, yeah, no. This is not gonna work. Uh, and, uh, what? Set up complete- What? Um, okay, that's weird. Well, if I still can, like, okay, sign up with Google, um, um, I don't know about that one. Like, I'll toy around with this later, but I really don't know. What's 5G Lab? Oh, brings me right to Google. Great. 5G Lab. 
Ooh, I could get closer to BTS. Nah. Okay, I I really Metaverse for I don't understand this. It's what we're advertising at this point, so I I I, I really don't know anymore. All right, what is this one? Urgent news. Oh, it's just emergency alert history. Uh, okay, that's fine, I guess. I think this one is Yahoo Mobile. Yeah, Yahoo Japan. Uh, I'm gonna not use the translator here. Um, no clue what it's doing. Okay, it's asking me to log in, I believe, but I have no Yahoo Japan account. I'll figure this all out later, but for now, uh, why does it say so? Cancel update. Okay. Now, this video is over 15 minutes long. It's just about one phone, so I think this is where I'm going to end, just because it's taking a long time. So, yeah, this is it. This is the ZTE Libero 5G, with its three camera setup and all its stuff like that. It's also kept up a good battery too while I was recording. So if anyone wants to see me do any more shenanigans with this and any other Japanese phones I buy, leave a description down below, or leave a comment down below, or just message me on Discord, whoever follows me on Discord. So yeah, that's it for me, phony, and I'll see you guys later.